Welcome to episode 27 of the Content Systems for Growth podcast. This week, we're going to tackle the question of how to increase traffic for my website. Have you ever Googled this before? I'm curious. I want you to lean in because you're going to want to hear this one simple tip. Hey, online business owner, welcome to the Content Systems for Growth with me, Michelle Dewey. Are you ready to let go of guilt, stress, and missed deadlines? Are you struggling to keep up with the demands of running a household, taking care of your family, and creating consistent organic content? Well, you're not alone. Juggling all the to-dos of being a mom and owning an online business can be challenging. But here's the good news. By implementing effective content systems and organization strategies, you can streamline your workflow, increase your productivity, and find Finally, take control of your schedule. Each week, I'll explore content management systems and mindset hacks to help you rediscover your creativity, passion, and enjoyment in content creating. If you're ready to save time with systemized content marketing strategies and productivity tips, then go refill your coffee mug, pop in those earbuds, and let's tackle that pile of laundry. It's time to reclaim your time and energy while you take your business to the next level. Let's grow, friends. Let me ask, have you ever found yourself in the thick of it all without one extra minute wondering what content you can create to get more eyeballs on your website? Next thing you know, you're going down a rabbit hole of researching how to increase traffic for my website. Oh, if this is you, friend, I have one simple tip that you can implement today into your content calendar to do just that. Are you ready? I'm sure you are. You're sitting on the edge of your seat, aren't you? Do you want to know what that one simple tip is? It is to rewrite and republish your old content on your website. Everything needs a refresh now and then. Am I right? You may feel overwhelmed and exhausted by that constant churn of content creation. Not only that, but depending on when you're actually listening to this, you may be in the season of no time. And what do I mean by no time, not one extra minute? All the minutes that you previously had for creating amazing content that did generate traffic to your website has been swallowed up by keeping your kids entertained while school's out for the summer. You know what I mean, right? I've been there and I've done that. I completely get it. I understand. If this is you, sweet friend, this too will pass. Although from a soon-to-be empty nester, I do encourage you to relish every minute with your kiddos. My heart would love to go back to the thick of summer kid acti- summer kid activities and entertainment. What you need is a quick and simple way to get more eyeballs on your content to drive traffic to your website that can be done in minimal time. And how do you do that? Well, as I alluded to earlier, it's with updating, rewriting, and then republishing your old content. Why do you need to rewrite and republish your old blog post? If you're on the fence that this will work, yes, it does. Numbers tell a story, and I'd like to share with you a recent experience one of my clients had. In their content calendar, I always pepper in old blog posts to rewrite and republish. One thing we do weekly is we meet with the SEO conversion manager to look at the path that vis- excuse me that visitors take on the website. Kind of like your social media, you want them to stay on your website, getting to know you and your online business. I was curious about the traffic that was coming in from a recent blog post that I rewrote and republished for them a few weeks ago. And numbers do not lie. And they tell you a story for sure. They will tell you where to spend your time. I promise. First, we looked at the traffic from the date the blog was republished until the current date. It was getting decent traffic. But the wow factor... The visitors on average click through eight pages on the website. That's such a huge engagement rate. I was curious to know how that differentiated 
from before the po the actual blog po the actual blog post, excuse me. Words are hard. I think I say that every week. I was curious how that would actually measure up to what it was before I rewrote the content for the website. And the amount of traffic this post was getting prior to the update, we ran that same report going back two years from the day before this post was actually republished to whenever it G4 let us actually look at the analytics. I'm just saying that because of the whole switch over to G4. You can't go back as far as you used to be able to. But anyways, we were actually blown away. The numbers of visitors to the blog doubled. Doubled compared to the previous two years. Do you see how amazing that is? The numbers in just two weeks doubled the amount of traffic that they had in two years to that one blog post. Not only that, before the post was rewritten, visitors only clicked through to one page after that post and they left the website. That's not great engagement at all. That's not what we're looking for when we want to increase traffic and eyeballs on our content. And we were totally geeking out over this information. And it's total proof that it works. By refreshing the content and images, it renews the energy and it gives your blog post new life. I do the same thing to increase traffic for my website. Oh my goodness, how much I've grown and evolved for the last seven years with my content is groundbreaking. I'll just say that. I've gone from throwing up content to really getting into the art and science of how organic content works to increase traffic for my website. In the end, it drives conversion. Even though I'm a past sales rep, for some reason, I get totally weirded out selling my services. I don't know if it's a personal thing because it's I feel like it's a personal rejection thing. Anyways, mindset things that I'm working through. I need to remind myself in order to have a business and not a hobby, I need to have those conversions. Our websites are the tool for us to find the people that we connect with and your content is what does that. How can you do this for yourself? Go back to your old content and make it relevant again. If you're anything like me, what I did back in the day is not what I'm doing right now. I want you to enhance those posts to keep them in line with the actual services or products that you offer now. Because maybe back then you had one-on-one -on -one services and maybe now all you do is offer digital products or group coaching. You want to make sure that all of your past content make it relevant to how your business operates. Here is one word of caution for you. Do not change the URL. Can I say it slow enough for you? Only update the content. Changing the URL is an SEO no-no for sure. Not sure what I mean by the URL? Well, that's that little web address up in the top that you copy and paste and put it into all different places. One way to make it super simple is by using the SEO plugin called Yoast. They have this feature that's called rewrite and republish an old blog post, and it's pretty slick and easy to use. And that's what I use on my website and for all my clients' websites. It allows you to rewrite and reschedule that post to go live instead of having to move it to draft mode to be published on your actual content go live date. Am I saying that right? Like, do you understand it? For example, my weekly content goes live on Wednesdays for my blog post and my podcast. When is the date that you actually release new or now refresh content to your website. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to wrap this up. One thing we know for sure is that nothing stays the same. You as a person and a business owner are constantly evolving. 
rewriting and republishing previous blog posts is a quick and easy way to get content out the door without the stress of starting from scratch. It is clear from the remarkable results that we've seen that this strategy holds great potential for you. I don't know about you, but I was blown away by how refreshing old content has the ability to unlock new opportunities. Not only did it double its traffic within two weeks, but also experienced an astonishing shift in the user engagement and lead generation. Oh my gosh, I think I failed to mention earlier, in addition to that increased traffic to the website, the engagement created two new leads into the business by filling out an application to work with them. That type of results to me is completely mind blowing. And I want you to take advantage of repurposing your content so that you can watch it go further than you ever imagined. So friend, what old content will you make new again? Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful week. Yay, thank you so much for listening. I hope that you found this episode valuable and learned some actionable tips that you can implement in your business so that you can feel accomplished and less stressed. If you enjoyed this show, please take a quick minute to share this with your business bestie, subscribe, and leave a review. It helps me reach more business owners just like you. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future episodes, please reach out to me on my website. I've created a form just for you. Remember, with the right system and mindset, you can achieve the success your heart desires. Thank you for tuning in. I look forward to chatting with you next time. I appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful week. And don't forget, let's grow friends. Mm -hmm.